Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me a 8744 So today guys, I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about the Champions League So with the Champions League draw literally happening tomorrow um, I want to give you guys my quick thoughts on every single team how far they can make it What should there be realistic expectations? So if you're new on here guys, please hit that like button hit the subscribe button as well I want to see us reach 20 likes for the Champions League. It's the Champions League for crying out loud guys So let's hit that like button hit that subscribe button as well so let's start with the um the defending champions, of course, Manchester City. Manchester City, can they do back-to-back? -back? I absolutely think they can. They have the squad. They have the players. And I just feel like with Pep Guardiola, he just knows how to handle this competition. So I'd say Manchester City is probably my early pick to win the Champions League. I'm going to actually pick them. Sevilla, for me, no. <laughs> Sevilla is a Europa League team. Like, let's be real. Their ambition is to go in the Europa League. Like... Even if they make the Champions League round of 16, they're not making a pass round of 16. It's round of 16 at most for this club. Barcelona, for me, it's round of 16. As a Barcelona fan, I hope we can make it part of the round of 16. I just don't have faith in Xavi and the co. And I just don't feel like they handle the pressure very well. You know, we bare minimum should be making out of the group, though. Okay. Napoli, for me, maxes quarters. I don't think this team has what it takes to do what they did last season. And I just feel like for me, with the addition of, um, you know, um, their coach, Rudy Garcia, I just don't think Napoli will do as well. I think they'll do well in the group stage, you know, but I don't think they can make it past the quarters. I think quarters is max. Bayern Munich, for me, should be, bare minimum, should be semifinals. This team is looking amazing. Harry Kane is firing all cylinders. Bayern is looking great. My only concern in Bayern is they don't have that, they don't have the defense, in my opinion, to win the Champions League. And I also have some concerns with their midfield. PSG, uh, for me, I would say quarters max. I don't see this. I don't think this club has what it takes to reach the semifinals of Champions League. And obviously, with PSG, it's a very much a different PSG team. So who knows? PSG might actually be good this season because they've got rid of all the big name players like Messi, Neymar. You know, they got rid of those players. Ramos is gone as well. You know, Verratti might be on his way out. So you know, it's a very much different PSG team. But like I said, guys, this club isn't serious. This club is just a joke. And yeah, I don't. For me. Obviously, they should be winning this, but they're not going to win it. They're going to fall short. Next up is Benfica. I'm going to say... This might seem like a crazy call to say, guys. And some of you guys may be very surprised I'm saying this. I think they have what it takes to reach the semis. They're actually my pick for the dark horse this season in the Champions League. I would actually bank them cons uh, considerably. Because I feel like, for me, Benfica have what it takes to do it so well. I look over Roger Schmidt's done with the team. They look amazing. You know, Di Maria, uh, Kochu as well. The only issue I have is they're the left back, you know, and they, uh, you know, they brought in a striker as well. Got rid of Gonzalo Ramos, sh shipped on to PSG. And yeah, I just think that for me, for Benfica, man, it's it's an amazing, man. It's amazing business what they've done. Feyenoord for me, uh, I would say probably, I would say round of 16 at most. I don't think this club was it takes what to go past round of 16. I would hope they can do it. Realistically, though, it's probably a group Europa League. I think that's probably what their best they're probably going to go to, and I think the Europa League is probably their best chance to do well. So, yeah, I, if they can finish third in a group, that would be pretty much decent for them. Real Madrid, of course, for me, it's semis at most. I don't think the Real Madrid have what it takes to reach the final, especially with the injuries to Militao and Courtois. And, yeah, Manchester United, for me, quarterfinals at most. Like, this team isn't looking that great right now um, in the Premier League, but remember, guys, in Europe, Manchester United can perform, you know. And let's be real, guys. Manchester United should have enough quality to get past the group stage, you know. Now, if they get a doable group, that is. Now, if they get a hard group, they might possibly go to the... Whoa! <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, uh, Manchester United, for me, it's quarters at most. Quarters at most. Inter Milan, quarters at most. I don't think the club has what it takes to reach the semis again, what they did, I mean, reach the final like they did last season, and, yeah. Dorman, it's round of 16 at most. I don't think Dorman have what it takes to get past round of 16. These guys are not serious. And yeah, I feel like they're going to, I feel like they're going to, they may get a tough group this season in the Champions League. Atletico Madrid is a wild card. You never know what you're going to get with this team. Like this team honestly is, has what it takes to reach like a semis or a quarterfinals. But you never know with Atletico Madrid. You just don't know what you're going to get with this team. I'm going to personally say right now, round of 16 exit. Um, but, you know, could possibly. RB Leipzig. Uh, I don't know, man. RB Leipzig, they sold a lot of key players this summer. Um, so I'll say round of 16 at most for this club. Porto, probably round of 16 as well. Just don't see them making it past so round of 16. I hope they can. That would be a fantastic. But 
I don't think they can. Arsenal, for me, it's round of 16 as well. I know there's been a lot of hype for Arsenal. A lot of people have been hyping up Arsenal in the Champions League. I just feel like, for me, they're going to come up against a big team, and I think they're going to lose. So, yeah. Shakhtar Donetsk, uh, I would say probably round of 16 at most. I mean, it's probably going to be a Europa League. They're going to probably finish third in the group. Salzburg, I would probably say the same as Shakhtar Donetsk. Milan, they could honestly reach the quarterfinals of the Champions League again, but I don't think they have what it takes to reach the semis. I'd say quarters at most with Milan. I feel like Milan will be more focused on the league title. So, yeah. Then we have Braga. For me, it's round of 16 at most. I would say they're most likely going to get to the Europa League, which is, I guess, realistic. But, um, yeah, I mean, round of 16 is like at max I could see this club. Don't don't uh, don't write up them off though. They're like a sleeper pick, I would say, a kind of a dark horse pick. Um, you know, they're very good at home. PSV Eindhoven. Now, this is another team I think could surprise people. I think this team has what it takes to do well. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's gonna be round of sixteen at most. Like, it's probably gonna be a Europa League exit. They're probably gonna go to the Europa League group stage, and yeah, it's probably gonna be like that. Lazio for me, round of sixteen at most for this club. I, I like what Sarri's done with the team, but I just don't think they have what it takes to make the quarters. West Hall Ball grade. I, for me, max is round of 16. Group stage, they're probably going to finish third or fourth, I would say. Copenhagen, I'm sorry. It's, it, they're going to they're gonna finish third at most. I'd say Red Hall Ball grade finished third at most as well, actually. Young Boys, for me, finished third at most. I don't see this club doing it. Real Sociedad, for me, as a club, I could maybe see reach around a 16 if they get a very kind group. Now, if they get a very difficult group, it's probably going to be bottom. If they get, like, a doable group, possibly third. But, yeah, I don't see them coming up. They're going to, at for most, finish second place. It's going to be it's going to be Rattus Kadea. Exit. Galatasaray. Now, this is a team I wouldn't sleep upon. I think Galatasaray is probably the... This might seem like a very hot take. I think they might be the best team best team in pot four because they have the experience they have the players they have an insane atmosphere at home their fortress is incredible so yeah i think galatasaray could maybe reach a ground of 16 but i don't think they have what it takes to reach round of you know celtic for me i'm sorry it's a group stage exit newcastle for me i would say round of 16 at most i don't think this club has what it takes to get past round of 16 um and yeah Union Berlin, now this is a club I also wouldn't sleep upon. They're a very good German team. They're very direct, very aggressive, very attack-minded. They're very much set pieces, and they're very much defense-oriented. So keep an eye upon them. They could possibly surprise. I'm going to say, for now, I'm going to say round of 16 at most. Antwerp, group stage exit, I'm sorry. And Lons, probably group stage exit. So looking at the pots here, I would say Man City is probably the best team at pot one, followed by Bayern Munich. Pot 2, I'd probably say Real Madrid's the best. Um, and then second, I would probably say Inter Milan, actually. I think Inter Milan is the second best. Pot 3, I would definitely say Milan first. Second, I would probably say Lazio second. Possibly, maybe. Yeah, I'd say second Lazio. Uh, then th actually, no. Second, I'll say PSV. I'll say PSV. And uh, Pot 4, guys. I think the Pot 4 teams are better than Pot 3, to be honest. I would say best is Galatasaray. And I'd say second best might actually be Union Berlin. Might actually be Union Berlin. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the Champions League. Remember, guys, the Champions League draw will be happening tomorrow. Unfortunately, I will not be able to do a live reaction. So what I'll probably end up doing is I might drop a video there tomorrow whenever I can. And then um, do like a quick video. And then later that day, we'll have like the actual proper stream where we can have you guys come on. And it'll be like an open hangout. So I'll invite any uh, you guys. can Anyone can join, basically. You know, as long as I recognize you, you're free to welcome the stream. And yeah, like I said, guys, hope you guys did enjoy. So remember, guys, to like and subscribe. Comment below your thoughts. Comment below. And yeah, like I said, guys, if you guys did enjoy. Become a member of the channel to get access to members' videos, members' streams, which of course takes place on a weekend basis. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.